Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Today we are going to make some breakbeat acid stuff with the poly and play, the sox box, going into this wonderful beast. Let's check what I've done so far. <laughs> There's basically everything you need in this. Let's get this one. Some break beats. Those are very loopy for now. A pad. Just a pad made from my GX3P. And those long notes sampled from my MC202. That are arranged in three tracks to create that polyphonic sequence. Some padding. On the MIDI side, I have a very simple sequence going. And what's cool about this is that you can uh, put more than one note on each track, not like the tracker. So you can do the slide by just adjusting the length of the notes and make them overlap. So as said, there is basically everything you, we need to make uh, at least a few bars of music with this. It's already quite cramped. So let's make a song, a sort of a song with this. So what I will do is to go to the pattern page, all this until it's copyable, quick copyable, like they say. And I will copy it everywhere. So now if I press shift and play song, it will play all those because they are all attached together in this group. So we are going to basically remove stuff. What I want on the start will be, okay, so pattern. As it's the intro, let's drown those in reverb. It did as well. We can change the algorithm here. Transparent all. With a bucket for delay. Okay, why not? So this is our first one. Instead of um, going back like this, I will just copy this one here. So our second one will be mostly the same. And I will start to add a few rhythmic elements. I have a 909 kit here. So I select those two to put those a little bit less uh, loud. We will also make them up here. Okay. Let's copy this guy over here. Let's select. Oops. Add some acid. 
Well, now we can hold this and change the notes. Here I can change the length. So now I have my intro in the two first pattern. This one is still, there's still a bit too much things going on. So let's remove the pads at least. Copy this step as well and put it in this one. Trust me, would be to have more variation on the drums. So I will copy the first page and paste it. Should work. Okay. And in those, I think I would just like. Let's try to randomize those stuff. That is fun to just randomize from the pool. It doesn't really work well now. I want more control with this. Do it by hand. The last one will be I have some uh, funny samples. Oh, that's some, some fully stretched beat. And here what we can do is to try to have fun with the... With the end of the sample, or the beginning actually. So we can move. Sort of a very crude slicing technique. It can lead to further results. Also, if you want to make it more rhythmical, no, not the filter. But this is something that I get confu confused quite a lot with this knob setting sometimes.
Let's copy this one over there. Uh, so here, I will start to add maybe some other Stuff. But uh, with some just chances that they happen. That's fun. also decide to randomize the um, space which is a bit of panning a bit of reverb and stuff as those patterns are quite long let's wait for this one to start In this one, I will remove the drums. And I will try to add some uh, acid. This one was not copied. Well, that's our little break. We are going to keep this pattern. Now I'm going to start over here. So here what I want is only... The acid, and we will have fun with breakbeat stuff. I'll show you how I make those. mangle different break beats on the same. I get confused sometimes.
to delete those and let's see what happened now if we start the song here Well, that's a fun playground. I will give all this away on the body and scene page. You'll get the link in the description and probably over there. It was a bit messy, but anyway, let's show you how you can have fun with those things. Plug any synthesizer using the MIDI is channel one all the time. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Feel free to like, subscribe and whatever. Go have a look at my Patreon page and have a great time. See you next time.